Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to take you along as I decorate my front foyer as well as my living room and my mudroom for summer. So come along. I am starting today here over in my front foyer. I had taken everything down. I'm going to give it a wipe down, dust everything, move the furniture out of the way, dust the baseboards, so that way it's all nice and clean. I don't do this every time I clean, do my deep cleaning, but I definitely like to do things like this when I'm switching out the core, which I love to do every season. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. My name is Sonia, and over on this channel, I do lots of decorating, cleaning, organizing type of videos. So if you love seasonal dec decor and seasonal decorating, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. I would love to have you become part of my YouTube family. cleaning products that I use are method products. They are a little bit cleaner, maybe not perfect, but cleaner than uh, some of the other products on our shelves. They're not as easy to get still in Canada. At our grocery stores, there's always one or two different ones missing whenever I go out to buy uh, all my cleaning products. So I tend to have to go to a couple different stores, but I do find that Canadian Tire, if you live in Canada, tends to have the best selection and the best prices. Now that it's all nicely dusted I'm going to start adding some of the decor some of it I'm adding back um, because I love the way it looks and I'm just switching out um, some flowers and some signs just to add uh, more touches of summer I love a lemon theme I love yellow color yellow for the summer I did for a while do blue as well but I found I tend to gravitate more towards yellow I have just recently shared my from porch decorate with me so if you want to check that out it is kind of the color theme that I'm going to be using throughout the house I have stopped burning a lot of the candles because I can't have them burning while the kids are here. So, but this lemon cello candle, it smells so, so good from Bath and Body Works. And I did start switching out a lot of my candles to more of a soya based candle with essential oils. Uh, so when I do burn one, it is a more cleaner one. Um, I use a diffuser throughout the day. Um, usually on most days I will have a diffuser running because I can do those while I have daycare kids. This um, basket as well as the olive tree both came from HomeSense. I think this basket just adds a really uh, soft touch to this uh, front foyer table. This sign has to be one of my favorite DIYs that I have ever made. 
Um, I do have a tutorial over on my DIY channel if you want to check that out. But I absolutely love that sign. And I think it's perfect for this little table. And let's not forget one of my favorite decor pieces that I've purchased several years ago is this truck. And I love switching out seasonal items in the bed of the truck. I did decide to go ahead with the same tulips as I used for the spring just because of its color. Um, previous years I have added lemons in it as well but I am loving with the way this is looking so I decided to um, continue it through the summer. And then the last thing that I'm going to add is this pot. It does look like it's got rope around it, but it is actually all concrete. So, and I got it at Dollarama for $4. And then I'm going to add this little boxwood greenery that came from Dollarama as well in it. And I think this just completes the whole look. I absolutely love it. I love leaving the middle of the table open because I do put my attendance there that I have to fill out every single day for the daycare. To the mudroom. I have a whole mudroom transformation video over on this channel. I will link it in the eye in the sky if you want to check that out. Um, I love the way my mudroom looks now. However, I did have to add a whole bunch of stuff when I restarted the daycare to it. For as a parent informational boards, I had to add fire escape route and I also have to have an anaphylactic shock plan for one of the children posted in the mudroom but I did want to make it pretty not only functional but also pretty so I'm going to be adding some command hooks over here so I can hang up a wreath on the inside um, I don't love having the wreath on the outside in this on this door just because the wind hits it pretty hard and I had uh, had several of them get damaged so I put it on the inside that way I can look at it from the inside as well and looks pretty since I don't have too many fireplaces that I can hang up my single wreaths that I have um, this is a great way to hang them up I am going to use my lemon wreath that I DIY'd over on my DIY channel and uh, I think it adds so much brightness cheerful color into this space I did use for a wreath one of those hanging things over the door, but it did not work for this door for some reason. It kept scratching it and also it kept being very sticky whenever I tried to open it. Now I noticed when I was putting shoes away that there was a little bit of a um, muddy drippings on the wall. I think it was from wherever, whenever we were out for a walk and it was uh, raining, maybe from the leash. Um, so I wanted to wipe that down so it is nice and clean. There were a couple other areas that I wiped as well. As you can see, my mudroom isn't overly huge. So over on this side, I wanted to um, add some decor to it, but not too much because we do use these hooks uh, quite often. But I wanted to add uh, a bag that I could use for uh, Saturdays whenever we go to the farmer's market. I thought it would look pretty here. Um, I gotten this bag from... 
a company they sent it to me a while back several years back and it was a part of a DIY and I had added <clears throat> our first initial of our last name and I painted it I do use it sometimes whenever we go to the beach but it is large enough that I can fit quite a bit of stuff if, if, if I go to the market and I think it's it's just such a nice touch and uh, again adds that softness to the space Another item oh, that I wanted to add over to this bench was a pillow. This bench strictly is used for me leaving stuff for the parents. Nobody actually sits on it. But I had gotten this pillowcase sent to me by Timu. And uh, I wanted to... I didn't have... A space to use it where I could use it in a kitchen but I thought with all the florals that were on it it would look really pretty over here I think this pillow cover would look uh, amazing if you had a dining area with maybe a bench or a little breakfast nook and you could just prop it up on a chair or a bench I think that would look really really nice as well actually decided to take the bag and move it to the other side I just felt that with the pillow over there it was a little bit crowded but I did end up adding a watering can over to the other side and just added another texture and functionality since I have all my plants out now and I'm constantly going into the uh, garage to get my watering can and I thought this would be perfect spot to have it. Well, I do love it with the way it turned out. I did not want it to overcrowd it because I still needed it to be functional. And now I'm moving over to my living room and my decor assistant is here as always. I am going to be decorating the fireplace and the coffee table. I'm going to leave all the, uh, the other little side table as they are since I was pretty happy with the way it looked and I didn't see a point of switching out the core here. to add that uh, light colored blanket over here just to add a little bit of lightness to this dark couch. So I've taken everything off of the fireplace and a coffee table and I wanted to again give it a nice dusting. I do dust these areas weekly whenever I'm doing my weekly deep clean but I just use a dusting mitt whereas now I just wanted to give it a good polish
So now that it's all wiped down, I'm going to start adding a decor and I'm going to put this lantern back on that was here before. I love the, the wood that it has and I think it adds, ties in the rest of the house together. And then I had DIY this little a candle holder and I'm adding the lemon candle uh, that I have. Now to bring some of the outside in, since uh, I have ferns on my front porch, I picked up these fern branches at Dollarama and I wanted to add them into the vase here. So wanted to add this a little was this was another DIY on my DIY channel it was just an old uh, maple syrup bottle that I had added some texture and color to when I'll be coming home and then to complete this look, I'm adding my DIY snakes that I made into rings from Dollar Tree. Uh, and I think that adds that wood softness that the wood gives you to the fireplace. And now I'm going to dust my coffee table and decorate it. And I am on my way. I thought I was done with lavender, but I have been loving with the way lavender is looking outside and I wanted to bring it in as well. And these branches from Walmart, I absolutely love. And then for that softness, I'm going to add this little wicker basket. And I wanted to, I, I thought I wanted to add some lemons with some of the textured balls that I have but uh, you will see i tried to add it play around with it and then i found i wasn't loving it so i just uh, left it with the all the different balls that i have in there i have lots of other places that i can use lemons in And to complete the look, I'm going to add my cement owl that came from HomeSense. Deep 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And make sure your notification bell is on because I have a ton more summer decorating ideas to share with you. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.